Hello, uh, this video is the decision for Capsim Capstone uh, Competition Round 2. For this strategy, so we did not add uh, new product from Round 1, so we can update uh, add two more products in Round 2. Of course, so we get a very good sales, but uh, lower net profit a little bit. But from Round 4, when the new product is ready, we will lead the game with the highest sales and also net profit. Uh, so invest early, we will get more advantage than uh, competitors in terms of production and more effectively to produce uh, uh, the products. So uh, we take the industry condition report you see on the screen, industry condition report uh, from the report tab, and then we use the Excel file to calculate um, IND uh, performance and size for the next eight route, right, from route two to route eight, seven routes. Um, we adjust the product, update the product based on the Excel file to get the product uh, close to the ideal spot. So we can try with the ideal spot first. If that takes too long time and uh, higher cost, so we can reduce a little bit to make the product launch in the right time from June or July or sometime August. Maybe September is okay. So next round, our product can get uh, the good performance and size and start selling well. We reduce the uh, MTBF a little bit, not to max in each segment because that costs too much. So we reduce to keep that uh, high medium of uh, MTBF mean time before failures for all the five segments. The only number four uh, performance we keep that max for um, 27,000 hours because the four segment, uh, four segment performance customer, customer prefer uh, performance uh, the best, right? So we add two more products in low-end segment and one more product, uh, the second new product in um, traditional segment because these two products uh, has a uh, high sales and also good uh, market growth rate. So um, that's for IND. We take now we take the launching date. Uh, the second product uh, we do not update because uh, number two uh, low-end is optimal already, right? We just change the MTBF to fourteen thousand. We do not keep that 7 or 15 or 16 because that's too high, cost too much. Just keep that higher than competitors, then we can sell better, right? And also get good net profit margin. We take the other products, if they launch in 2020, it's okay. Some launch in 2021, we can adjust that, lower the performance and increase the size a little bit so that uh, the new product will be ready in uh, the same year. The second round and uh, around June or, or September is okay, right? Again, this company uh, for this sample set, for this uh, company, so we uh, uh, for this strategy, so we um, do not add any product in round one. So in round two, we can add two more products. If we do so, sales are good, but net profit reduce a little. But uh, we still get advantage. We will get very good advantage in round four to the end of the game. So again, we check the price for the marketing. We check the price again, reduced to 20 cent, 20, uh, 50, 50 cent for each uh, product. Uh, please note to um, take the career report for each segment to compare the price in the, the best selling product in each segment so that we keep the price high as high as possible but close to the most uh, the strongest competitors right and then we come to the sale focus we uh, check the unit we sold from last round to get the demand and multiple by the segment grow rate and then we add about 15 percent for our two is okay because we have a very good product, so we can add 15% uh, more higher than uh, demand multiple by the segment growth. And then we add 10% or 12% for production. And now we come for the production. It's very important to add uh, more capacity for the new product. First, we add the capacity for the current five product first. Uh, cake uh, number two, Cedar, CID, Coat and Cure. Uh, note that uh, the production we have already added 12% to avoid it out, also we get very good product, so we can sell better than competitors, right? Uh, for automation, we increased, uh, and I noticed that uh, the company sold uh, a few capacity from last round. For example, traditional we sell about 300, and the other we sell, uh, for the high end we sell 200, and the other uh, performance side we sell 100, that's okay, but uh, it's not suggested. Because later round we will add more capacity. So this round we add uh, 500 for new low end product and 200 for the old low end product and 300 for the new traditional. Now for the HR 
we add about 3,040 hours. Next round, we will use uh, 5,080 hours max for HR investment. And for finance, we use both sources of investment, 19 million for stock issue and 21 million for um, long-term loans. So we get about 40 million. And this estimated result, we get very good sales, 188 million. Six. Over, uh, over 666 million contribution margin and 12 million net profit. That's estimated only, but that's good. We just keep about a few million net profit for first round. Thank you, good luck and success.